Hi there everyone, welcome back to Dandelion Delphi Tutorials. Today we're going to learn how to add an item to the end of an array. So the first thing that you would like to do is you want to test if your array is full. So let's say this array was declared as an array from 1 to 30. I cannot go to 31 because that will give me an access violation. So first I need to test if my array is full. So therefore I have that if statement to test if I have reached 30 already with my counter. Remember in the previous lessons we used I count to indicate the number of items that have been filled in our array. So if I count is 30, then I'm going to display a message that my class is full and I'm going to exit. Again, remember your begin and end so that you only exit if the array is full. So now we continue with this code here to get input from the user if my array was not filled. So I'm asking for the name and the mark and then I'm increasing my counter. So now if I had 20 people in my array, I will now have 21 in my array. And then I will add the surname to array surname at the position. In our example, it will be 21. This would be the last surname in your array. And to the parallel array array mark, I will add to array mark number 21 this user's or learner's mark. Remember that your array exists in the RAM of the computer. So therefore these changes that you have made is now only in RAM and not permanent in your text file. So if you want to make these changes permanent, you want to write them to your text file. And here we go, I'm going to show you how do we write to a text file. So here is what we want to do if we want to write to a text file. We're first going to use a sign file as we did when we were reading from the text file and t file was declared as a text file data type. Always use t file as a local variable and I am assigning or linking t file to the name stored in this folder called names.txt. The first thing that I want to do is I want to test if the file exists. If the file does not exist I want to create a text file. So I'm using rewrite to create a file. Rewrite, the argument here is t file, but it will create a text file named names.txt in the folder where I've saved this program. If the file does exist and I want to add to the end of the file, I will use a pen. So a pen will open your file ready for writing to and placing the cursor at the bottom so you can add the new lines of text in your text file. Now we have a few options here. I can write all of this in one line of code, but here's an example of doing it in separate lines. So we have the write procedure and we have the write line or write lin procedure. And write will write to the text file the values that I put here without adding an enter or an end of line marker at the end of the line. So if I'm writing this name that the person entered and now I write the surname, these will appear next to each other. After T file, you'll place commas and you are able to add hard code as well. So I'm writing a name, then after the name, I'm going to put a space, then I'm going to write the surname after the space, and then I'm putting a comma after the surname. And then right line will write the mark after the comma. And then it will create an enter so it goes to the next line. What is important here is that you use close file t file so that you are able to read from this file later or maybe even write to it again. Here I'm doing all three of those lines in one line. So I'm only using a right line to t file the name, a space, the surname, a comma, and the mark. So you just separate the values that you want to write to with these commas indicated in red on your screen. You can also, instead of using these commas, put a plus. But what you need to keep in mind then is if you have an array, for example, array mark or an integer variable, 
then you need to interstring it. Whereas if you, you would use commas, you don't need to use string to int if you are writing a, an integer or real value to the text file. This is now your chance to practice. So you want to go back to the program we've been using up to now for text files and arrays and go to the menu insert and follow these instructions. If you are successful, you should see your new person that you've added at the bottom of your rich edit. Press pause and I'll show you the memo just now. So here's the memo for our insert question. I've just copied out the declaration of your arrays to remind you that we declared an array that can hold up to 230 names, surnames, marks and grades. So therefore my if statement here is testing if I count is 230 and that's where the 230 is coming from. If my array is full already, I will display a message and exit this procedure. The question then asks you to do some validation. So here's just a reminder of how to do validation. I am just testing if the user entered values in the edit boxes provided and I do not allow them to continue unless they have completed these details. Then further to that now I can string to int edit mark because we know there's some form of value in there and I want to test if this mark is a value from 0 to 100. If it is not then I display a message and I exit. And then the last one here is my grade and I'm validating my grade to see if the value that the user entered is a value from 8 to 12. If it's not, display a message and exit my procedure. So now I know I can add this person. I have all the information and my array isn't full. So I'm incrementing my I count to have one more item in my array and I'm placing all the input from the user into this last item of my array. And now if the question is asking me to make it permanent, I'm now adding to this text file. I am assigning t file to marks.txt. If the file does exist, I'm adding to the end. If it doesn't exist, I'm going to create it. And then I'm writing to this text file the name. And remember we separated these values with a hash. All these values are now stored in array name I count, which is the last item of my array. And then very important is to remember to close your file.